Well, they will, will, will remember ever. Re <sighs> fuck's sake. Today, I'm more confident in saying that this episode will be either the final episode or the penultimate episode. Most likely the penultimate episode because apparently the, the end game event with the ship can take fucking ages. So this is probably the second from last episode of Gene Corp. At which point, we may be sending Donitz and friends back in time to a whole new world. We'll wait and see how it goes. Um... What I've done, though, in the meantime, is done some research. First things first, I've learned how to launch pods in a group. Uh, specifically, you just mouse over them before you load the pods, not after you've loaded them. Um, I've also sort of redone this area, so it's a bit more efficient to launch what we need. Got the chem fuel right next to the pods. We've got the resource we actually want to launch closer to the pods. I've also tweaked some things uh, to allow us to launch pods between... Um, sh should I give it away, or shall I just... Uh, better head cannon. I've actually worked out that there was an error with our targeting systems, and in fact, the truth is, we can always launch pods uh, from this base over to over to Donitz's base. Uh, last time, you might have been mistaken. You might have thought we could only have launched at this distance. That is incorrect. In fact, that was a practical joke we were playing on Dave. Dave, as you might recall, uh, slaughtered the first ever crossbred creature we ever did, and let the base fall into disarray during a major raid. So Dave, we wanted to prank. Social experiment to launch Dave into the middle of nowhere, and then force him to caravan over. Meanwhile, everyone else can actually get to where we need him to go. Holy shit, this has added a massive radius. I mean, um, holy shit, we have a massive radius. Can we launch from the original base all the way over to the ship? I hope not, because that's a little bit too OP. So basically, long story short, I installed a mod that increased the, the radius by a little bit more. Because I didn't want to spend a whole other episode setting up a whole other base just to be able to supply Donitz and Mason on the other side of the map. I thought that would be a pretty crazy idea, right? Um, so what I'm going to do then, we'll get these loaded up and we'll actually see if we can launch them from here to the landing ship. I kind of hope we can't do that, because again, it's a little bit broken. But we'll wait and see how it goes. So we want, uh, what is it, components... Um, how many components do you think? Like, another hundred probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, any steel that we've got... Uh, well, not any steel, but, like, a uh, thousand steel is probably too much. We'll send, like, 500 steel, and then we'll send 200 uranium, and the rest plastic. steel. That's a good combination. Now, we probably want to send titanium over for things like guns, uh, for, for these types of turrets. Things like embrasures out of titanium would be a good idea. Things such as just walls in general, actually, out of titanium, building a kill, a kill box out of titanium, pure titanium would be a good idea. Who cares about the wealth that's going to add to the colony at this stage, honestly? Right, let's get them loaded up. Let's see how far we can launch these fucking things. And because we've got all this stuff just nearby, it'll take absolutely no time at all to get these things loaded. Um, I also put gold there. I should launch some gold as well, just for sort of miscellaneous stuff. Um, like, random electronic stuff, multi-analyzers, if we need it for whatever reason. Um, things like turning on AI robots as well. Oh, finished loading it. Shit, that took, like, no time at all, eh? Damn, that was, like, very quick. Alright, so then we hover over the group, and then... Yeah, there we go. Launch group. Uh, no, we can't quite get that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad about that, because that would have been a bit OP. So we still have to do it in two jumps, but it's not kind of, like, two and three-quarter jumps. It's not, like, that annoyingly close to being there. So we're still going to launch him over to the secondary base with uh, Quetlachley and his friend Mai the robot, who doesn't have a resting point right now, so I need to build a, a recharging station for the robot. Boom. All right. Uh, hopefully that will satiate some of you who are really annoyed at the fact that I was launching pods one by one. Okay. Sorry. Where? Which one is this one? Oh, God, it's at Donitz's base. Ah! Well, Donitz is obviously a superpower killing machine. I I've actually played as Donitz for fucking ages, or at least it feels like ages. So this might not... Wait, melee attack? Can we just... Can we actually just destroy it by melee attacking it to death? Oh, there it is. Run. Oh, God, turn the speed down. There we go. Oh, we've got the APB rifle. Yeah, this thing is not going to be able to do anything to us. Yeah, okay. Thank God we're starting a new mod pack, because honestly, there is just no challenge left in the game whatsoever anymore, eh? Holy shit. I'll be so glad. What I, one thing I haven't mentioned is behind the scenes, there are a lot of errors. Like I'll turn on the I'll turn on the dev console very briefly, so you guys know what I'm putting up with, and, and kind of hopefully uh, justify a little bit why I'm yeah why I'm trying to speed this series up a little bit. Let's put it that way and sort of uh, start a fresh mod pack. Every time I open the game, I'm just beset by errors and have to fuck around with the model list. I mean, given how many mods I've got, that's not much of a surprise, but it's not. I, I think it's on its last legs. I don't think the mod pack's going to last much longer. Um, especially as every episode, I tend to add more and more mods. Just because I'm curious, you know? Um, but but when we started off, it was really not in a good place anyway. So it's it's definitely sort of on its last legs at this stage. With, with, with four colonies as well, probably not helping things here. Well, three and, and Dave's caravan. I love the fact that Dave's just been abandoned somewhere. That's so funny. I'm just genuinely, genuinely probably just going to leave him out there as an abandoned colony. But then I realized we sent him with an Omnibot. So it's kind of like, ah, this could be useful for Donuts and Mason's survival. Right. Um, go ahead and uh, fill that fucker in. Get out of here. 
Gizmo absolutely enjoyed his stay, he left you Paradine and Consoganathus meat. A c classic. The, the, the classic thing that you would genuinely pay for a hotel with. Hey, I stopped at a sushi hotel last week. It was great. Stopped by robots. What did you leave them while I paid them in Paradine and fucking dinosaur meat? What's wrong with you people? Um, the sushi restaurant's still not going well, apparently. It's probably because the bean hasn't... Are we seriously not had a single bean harvest yet? I guess not. Got lots of insect meat, though. I hope they don't steal it for this one. Um, doesn't look like they have been. I can't see any beans in there. Well, we won't worry about it too much. So, what have I done? I'm starting to churn out AI because this sort of secondary refueling base... Basically, the Omnibots can plant plant crops, they can't harvest the crops. So I think the word Omni, fairly fucking misleading. Uh, seeing as it can't even do something as simple as harvest. And that, they didn't harvest that one, it's just hauling them right now. These things are just glorified hauling bots at this pace. So, it's basically just quite largely here, constantly refining. Now I've planted a shit ton of bamboo, because apparently, that's not bamboo, that's potate. Um, I've planted a shit ton of potate, apparently, but I meant to plant bamboo, because apparently you can convert bamboo straight into uh, fuel. So we'll just plant a massive bamboo plantation and have the robots run this, and then obviously convert that into fuel. Blast everything over with that. We'll need a little bit more fuel, and I'll send over what we've got over to Donuts and Mason so we can build a natural nuclear reactor here. One of you pointed out that the ship core acts as a reactor, but it's not very much. It was like 900 watt or something like that. Yeah, it's like barely anything. Um, to put it into perspective, the wind turbine is currently making way more than that. Oh, the ship reactor does a thousand, but again, the turbine's doing way more than that still. So, um, I'd rather not fuck around with the ship too much. Hey, why have we got rotten stuff in the freezer, people? What's wrong with you? Get the, ha get the shit out of there. So, what I've left on, it's doing... Donuts and Mason in their spare time if they can't do anything are just basically cutting blocks constantly because I figured at least that way we can start showing up the defences and make a lot of walls out of whatever they happen to produce. Um, I'll build another stone cut table so they've both got this constant thing they can do there. Mason, fishing, good. Donuts is currently uh, cutting stone blocks from chunks. Sweet, so we can start building some walls. We've got base two. We've got mine, the Omnibots, basically running this world's biggest plantation to uh, feed the colonists and uh, obviously also fuel the drop pods there. Quite actually, basically just refining goods um, from, from some wood that we've got kicking around. And then I'm going to blast all that over to Donuts and Mason. Main base, I've actually set them to, uh, set Chode Smirtly, melting a lot of the shit down that we're not using to try and reduce the wealth. We actually haven't had a raid in a very, very long time. So I'm trying to be a bit more efficient with how we're managing this base because now that our resources are spread out across a large area and I'm having to micromanage a lot more, um, I'm, I'm trying to reduce the risk factor, hence why I've just basically said chode mel everything, like get rid of it all. Because we're not using it, so it, it's no point keeping it around just for, um, you know, b b all it's doing is strengthening raids. So it seems like a waste of time, otherwise, what the fuck is that? Psychoid leaves? What was that for? That was for making adrenaline rips. Again, I feel like that ship has sailed at this point. Um, let's get you guys to stop doing that for now. I might even box up a couple of these Omnibots and launch them over to Donitz and Mason ready for that base over there. Oh, sweet. So, I am churning out some AI as well, ready to send over to help quite largely on the sort of mega plantation too. A true test of how strong Donitz actually is here. He's basically got to fight an entire raid by himself here. A lot of them, actually all of them are using melee weapons. Oh, I think they're going to get just completely toasted here. Donitz, I'm going to need help. Oh, Mason also has a fire weapon. So I can both up, get him into position and just kill them all dead, I think. Um... Yeah, they're attacking immediately, aren't they? They certainly are. Good. Okay, um, we'll send Mason over here. We'll send Donitz, I guess, to this one. They are going to die in no time. Oh, shit. And, of course, we've got, obviously, Spoff Supreme and our other great friends here. Oh, God. Well, that was just horrendous. Good good work. Okay, well, we might as well put these last survivors out of their misery. Um, there we go. I should probably mark them as finish off rather than actually trying to uh, manually take them out from a distance with energy weapons. Seems a bit of a waste of time, right? There we go. Now, I've had to build a mass grave here as well because we had some traders turn up to the base. Um, but they all caught fire. Oh, my fuck. Yeah, they all caught fire and died. So, we've got a mass grave filled with... Uh, oh, God, there's still some around. Traders and shit like that. Well, that's a pretty inconvenient. Well, I mean, they're not really doing much here. The second, funnily enough, Dave turns up with the fucking Omnibar. Oh, God, what is this lag? That's what I was worried about. Oh, God. That's probably the main base as well, because it's Ted Lone and Man's Confederation. When uh, Dave turns up with the Omnibot, funnily enough, things over here will speed up a lot, because the Omnibot can do... Uh, can plant all the crops that, that Dave... Uh, that Dave... Donitz and Mason actually can't do right now. Oh, Jesus. Which one is this at? Oh, okay. That's a lot of people. Jesus. And where are they sieging from? Um, let's wait and see. Where are they heading over to? Can't even see any outlines or anything. Where are they sieging from? Where, where, are their, where are the things being dropped off? My god, this is speed 4? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. I, I remember the days where you used to be able to uh, cancel 
the construction of these blueprints before they got to them. You could just cancel it, and then they wouldn't be able to build anything to shoot down with. Right, okay. A um, little bit annoying. That is the... What is that? Oh, the insect hives. I forgot about those. So those are the... Let's just take a look here. Those are the only ones dropping in, aren't they? Yeah. Right, okay. Everybody's got nano armor, so I'm really not too concerned about this raid at all. If we just squad everyone up... Oh, of course we've got Alchemia in his fucking death squad, too. It's quite handy. Uh, the Omnibots, though. Oh, God, the Omnibots are going to try and haul their stuff. Hey, stop that. I'm going to manually shut them down because they don't... I've noticed they don't always shut down. Um, might be some disparity between the actual base uh, robot mod and the, ad the, the additional robots, like the Omnibots and shit. All right, let's try this again. Here we go, team. Nano suits moving. Like these boys, like actual bullets, I think just won't phase them. It's like big explosions that will put them down. Um, right, so they're starting to build. Release the hounds. Can we do that still? Where are the, where are the animals? Oh god, that sounded like a turret. Oh god, TAI, what the fuck? Cutting pop. What are you? Do are they actually? Why are you helping them build their build their fortifications? Eh? Do you want to not do that? Oh, careful. Right, we're going to have to move in. Oh, God, and another raid. Oh, God, that's a raid on Quetlachley. Oh, God, that's bad. That's incredibly bad news. Um, You don't even have a gun. <laughs> Time to make my getaway. <laughs> um, prior Prioritize. Prioritize. Why can't I load the pod? Prioritize loading the pod. Hey, hey, stop. There, go, get out of here. Run. This this base is lost. You can't fight all of those pirates. Oh, Jesus. Um, Yeah, we have no guns. This base is lost. Goodbye. Uh, quite largely, flee. And he's out here. Uh, zoom in and choose landing spot by crash ship. Uh, basically anywhere. Well, goodbye refueling base. Oh, shit. Well, these guys are toasted. Oh. <gasps> Euphrates. Nick? Beaten to death? Beaten to death by what? Hang on. Health? Uh, log? Missing a brain caused Nick to expire. It tends to do that. Uh, beaten to death by a grenade. Well, that, I wouldn't have described that as being beaten to death, but fair enough. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, well, that's two colonists down. Jesus. Um, resurrect a mech? I think we have a couple in storage, don't we? We don't have any Resurrector Serum. Mead? No. Where's my... Do we not have some in storage still? Oh. I probably would have been a bit less gung-ho if I'd have thought we... If I didn't know we had no Resurrector Serum. Um, they also seem to have shelled the base. Fuck. This is too much multi-management. Right. Okay. Um, don't really know what I expected. Uh, what about the other colony? Fuck the Omnibots. Oh, God. Uh, what are we going to do about that? What can I do about that? I can't do anything about that. Um, what happened to... Omnibot has been shot dead. What happened to quite largely? I thought he blasted off again. Hey, there he, here he is. Boom. Welcome. Um, oh, Jesus. This is terrible. This has gone horribly. Okay, uh, squad. Squad, I need you to come home and uh, like actually put out the fire in the base. Shit. We need to go and reclaim base two before we lose it. So Alchemia and Grantly... Oh, who's not damaged? Sidini. Get in the pod. Uh, and Sidini and Galileo are fine. Same with Chode Smirtly. Send Sidini and Galileo. Fuck it. Right. Load launch pods. Sidini, Galileo. You are Operation Retake... Galileo. You are Operation Retake the other base before they torch it down and I lose all that progress. Um, do you want to take anything with you? No, just get in the pods and get out of here. Go. Hurry. Where are you? Sidini, Galileo. Get in the pods. Get in the pods. Get in the pods, though. Sidini, Galileo. Get in the pods. Thank you. Wow, there we go. No, consuming lavish meal. Get in the fucking pod. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? What do you mean? Loading in progress. Galileo, get in the pod. Rimworld, why are you like this? Fine. Um, Gal can't load Galileo now because we're already starting to... This game. This game, is, this game is making me angry. Right, Galileo, get in the pod. Sidini, also get in the pod. Alright, here we are. Operation, retake base number two. Squad up, kill them all. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, get out of my plantation. Oh, fuck, I'm going to have to send so many more Omnibots out. Get the fuck out of here. God damn, what is wrong with you people? That's it, you better run. No, kill him. I want to see him dead for what he's done. Get out of here. Slowing down my fucking game. Go on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, f finish him off. Actually kill him dead. 
Feeling vengeful. Two raids at once. That's some bullshit right there. You know what? Just leave him to bleed out. Okay, right. So, second base is reclaimed. Um, actually, all we lost was a wall and a drop pod launcher, which I'm not going to bother to rebuild, honestly, because we we're don't. we never launching through it once anyway. Man, that could have ended a lot, lot worse. Oh, shit. We also lost the Omnibot. Did we lose all of them? Oh, that's terrible. That's like, genuinely really, really bad news. Uh, Grantly Grimble is... Blood Loss Extreme. He's on life support, so he, uh, he actually can't die at all. Um, they are being treated up, though, so we're fine. Nick and Euphrates fell at the end. Good God. I can't believe that. I'm so annoyed. Okay, fine. Um, Donuts, Mason, Quet Lutchley, how are you boys doing? Okay, you are absolutely 100% fine. Welcome, Quet Lutchley, to the end game. All right, we've, got, we've actually got a helper out here now. Good. All right, refueling station has some more personnel, which is good. Nice to see. Um, we'll go ahead and allow all there. We'll have to put another mass grave as well, for God's sake. Maybe even churn out a couple more Omnibots in the main base. Probably wouldn't be a bad plan. Um, just let that go. Let, 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 let that happen while that happens. Uh, the wolf, the wolf Sothoth died. I, I really couldn't care less at this stage. Um, reactivate all the robots. We might have to shift some of these Omnibots, though. Let's go and uninstall two and send them over to the secondary base. Um, right, the refueling station. Right, get these uninstalled. Jesus, what a state that was. What an absolute state. Donitz is really not happy about things. Look at this. My friend Euphrates died. My friend Nick. Nick, second colonist we ever got in the game. Can't believe it would die right at the end of the game here. I'm, I'm really annoyed about that. So it was just unlucky. It was, it was genuinely just unlucky. Again, I wouldn't have been so gung-ho if I didn't think we had some resurrected mechs kicking around. I think we... What did we use them on? I have no idea who we used them on in hindsight. Probably Igor. <laughs> and that obviously went well. Sorry, who was that? Um, Isomers came up... Sorry, Titanium. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so on that one, we've got two Mobile AI and 150 Titanium. This one, we have 222 Steel and two Omnibots. Right, send the relief. Um, titanium is missing. I really couldn't care less at this stage. Just send whatever we've got to try and help out that base. All right. Mad Capybara. I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm sure everybody is going to be fine with that. Could we send fuel or will that... I mean, we could send fuel from the main base and we wouldn't even need a reloading station, would we? Wouldn't even need a refueling station at that point. Okay. Um, all of these are, are damaged, right? They're beyond repair, so we might as well get rid of them. Um, let's get you two installed, so put one there and one there, and get the AI activated as well. We could have probably activated them and then shipped them over in the pods, rather than shipping them over then activating them, just to conserve some resources here. Doesn't matter too much, obviously, but, um, something for the future to bear in mind. Right, so bills, let's get these things activated, activate mobile AI, and... Activate mobile AI, right, okay. So they are the ones that are actually going to be able to harvest the crops. The Omnibots will obviously get to work and uh, start planting the, the crops, even if they can't harvest them. Right, good, there's my welcome. You're going to help. Basically, this whole station is going to be run by robots. I don't, I don't want to leave any colonists here. When we've got it set up nicely, I'll send Galileo and Sidini on to the next point as well to go and meet Donitz and friends. We'll try and condense it down into one colony. I'd like to keep the original one. But obviously, seeing as that's supplying all the resources to the end game, I, I, I don't know if I can risk it. Donitz is just going to be fucked off for ages. He's just, he's just so terrible about things. What, what a high price to pay for leaving the planet. Nick and Euphrates, you deserve so much better. But I feel like this is the nice driving arc that we need for Donitz in the future. This is his character progression. He's given up the, oh man, Divinity for Cruelty. What the fuck kind of a name for a sarcophagus is that? Nick's love. Oh no. No, don it. I feel so bad now. But again, this is this is what we need to progress his character into something new and fresh and interesting. Um, that that's that's my excuse for for that terrible gameplay there. They will forever remain vigilant and and stand guard of Gene Corp when everyone else has left, when everything else is gone, and there is only robots and sushi. Nick and Euphrates will will guard the entrance here. Fishing tragedy. How terrible. Mason has bit by an oddly aggressive fish. What a good metaphor for this series. Dini and Galileo, along with a bunch of resources, we're going to launch over to the landing ship. Holy shit, Dave is almost there. Thank the fucking gods for that. Oh, of all the people I was excited to see, Dave. That's it. Launch it onto the farm. I'm sure they won't mind. Right, okay. We're slowly funneling the entire colony over the map here. Oh god, we're out of power. Well, thank god I sent, I think, almost enough resources for this nuclear power plant that we're trying to build. Um, let's go power. Let's go... No, 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 no. Nuclear. Um... We had 1,000 steel, 250 uranium. Yeah, we, we, uranium, very heavy um, in real life and in real world. So this is going to take a while to ferry over all the uranium and shit that we need. But it, it, it's okay. It's not too much of a big deal right now. Um, let's put the power plant away from where the enemies can shoot at it and fuck it up. 
Um, so put it basically in the center here. There we go. We're going to need a couple more bedrooms as well. I'm working with these smaller bedrooms because I don't particularly want to spend fucking ages getting resources for an area we're going to obviously, you know, leave soon. Um, right, okay. So we can sort of put another bedroom there. Another bedroom there. We'll sort of tile them across, I guess. Um, let's, try, let's try and fit as many in as we can without wasting too much time. Right, there we go. Put one here. I'm trying to build it into the mountain a little bit or at least around this area so it's, it's nice and contained. Um, don't particularly want them wandering around over here where they're susceptible to raids because we're going to be building walls around this whole thing anyway. So keeping it as closely tight knit as possible wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colonists. Uh, that might have also been completely wrong. Let's put a, a couple down in front of the farms. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know what? We could get rid of these solar panels soon. Anyway, that, that'll, do for, that'll do for now. But obviously, we're, we're not going to get all these comments over here for quite a while yet. Um, we do need some people running the original base as well. This shouldn't take too long, though. So they need more steel, more uranium. So we go back to the refuel station. We get a couple more pods built. Oh my god, we got... Oh, yeah, we've actually got plenty of chem fuel still. Get a couple more pods built, and then ship that over, and hopefully that'll solve all the problems we've got at base number two. Seriously, game. <laughs> Three more uranium, <laughs> please. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Okay. Fine, three more fucking uranium. Coming right up, team. Here we go. My god. I can't believe how long it's taken to ship this much. Uranium is so unbelievably heavy. Um I mean, you know, it is just by, you know, it's 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 chemical composition, I guess, but it is fucking ridiculous how many drop pods of uranium I've had to launch across this friggin' map at this stage. Okay, so wait for a little bit more of uh these resources to be used up and turned into fuel, then we should be good. And ready to finish up this area and start setting up defenses ready for the final little push here to get them off of the goddamn planet. Um, now, I think it takes a good few days before the ship is ready to launch. In that time, you get hit by just raids and raids and raids. So why don't we start planning out... Oh my god, we don't have any titanium or anything launched over yet. What we're going to do is, after this area is set up with a decent amount of power... Start sending over nothing but titanium to this area, right? Just, just churn it out over and over and over so we can build nothing but titanium walls and let them come. Alright, so I've decided that basically the other base is, is ready to go, right? We've just got to send over this little bit more uranium, and we've got the power grid sorted, so we actually need to start sorting out their moods now. So what I'm sending over in this one is obviously the last bit for that. Dave is almost there with the Omnibot as well. Um, so we'll launch this over. Then at the main base, I've been loading up some kind of weird things. So we've got uh, on these right now, uh, APB rifle. Figured that was necessary, seeing as some of them apparently don't have guns. We've got a Psychic Emanator just to help boost the mood up of this sort of otherwise um, quite depressing little colony we've got there. Cooking Bubba, so that they can have some fun, some recreation. Uh, same reason that I've included the Mega Screen Television and the Elder Scones there. Um, what else have we got? Mobile AI as well, just to help them out a little bit with their farming and, and sort of generic grunt work too. So what are we waiting on being loaded? Um, not entirely sure what we've got left to load on this one then. Uh, oh, there we go. Sweet. Is that everything? Ready for launch, ready for launch, ready for launch. Okay, sweet. So we'll send those over to Colony 1. And then these boys are basically ready to go. Let's go back over to Colony uh, Colony 1, I'm calling it, rather than Base 1. It's, oh, it's a confusing naming scheme, okay? Don't blame me. Blame the game. Right, and then we'll build another one of these as well, because four drop pods in, in both of them would make more sense. Nice, okay, so there we go. So the nuclear power is ready to go. We can start building turrets, things like that, just to help defend this base a little bit. We've got some titanium here, so even the wall production can go. Um, a general living area probably wouldn't hurt too much, so I might start moving these farms over a little bit as well. Do I never finish off these farms? Okay, weird, weird, weird flex, but okay. Um, I, I just apparently tilled some soil because I could. Right, so red lentils there. No, no, we'll build the rice here instead. Um, actually, corn would, would be much, much better, wouldn't it? Oh, we don't really have that much food to go around. Oh no, we've got 123 meals. Uh, yeah, let's go with corn instead because of the nutrition value. Get rid of this and we'll build just like a, a living area here instead. Um, we'll turn it to one bu big building. These nuclear panels can go as well. And then we'll just sort of do something a little bit like that. Yeah, that should do it. Swamp in your living room. Who doesn't want that? And that way, everybody's going to be happy and nice and fine. And then all they've got to do to get to their bedroom is go around the nuclear reactor. Or, or we could just shortcut through whoever's bedroom this is. Don, it's bedroom. As if he hasn't been through enough. Now people have to walk through while he's trying to sleep. Poor guy. Right. I'll be done with that. Please do not fuck that up. You should not be trusted to build anything. There we go. Right. All the power we'll ever need. Then the Mize are almost ready to send the rest of this ship on over to the next base to keep them all happy. Next episode, we might be ready to launch the ship. Well, we will be ready to launch the ship. And then we can, uh, hopefully it won't take like 10 minutes. Otherwise, that'll be a pretty goddamn short episode, eh? 
Dave. Dave, for the love of God. We've been waiting for you for so long, Dave. Holy shit, the Omnibot is here. And that means this colony is basically going to run itself at that stage, right? Because these things are ridiculously OP. Right, let's get this Let's get this boy slapped down. Um, boom. Right, install. Basically anywhere. I don't really care where. That is absolutely fine. Thank you. Um, Dave, you could have you could have done that on the way out, you little shit. Uh, anybody? Is anybody going to do this? No? Am I going to have to... Quill Ashley. Oh, you savior. All right. Robot. Uh, what do you mean, no power? The fuck do you mean, no power? Hang on. Uh, oh, because the grid's not connected up. Classic. Classic me there, not connecting the giant nuclear reactors up to absolutely anything I do. Right. Um, Donitz, I'm sorry to wake you up after you've been through so much. Uh, just get that plugged in um, and, and just go ahead and, I guess, finish this off very quickly. Sorry to keep... Yeah, sorry about this. Hang on. Right, let's just queue everything up. Otherwise, he's going to keep going to sleep. Uh, power conduit. There we go. That should do it. All right, we good? There we go. Robots online. And the colony is... God damn it. Three mechanoids. You know what? If it's just three mechanoids, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, there's some there as well. Two more. Well, we got five. Five mechanoids? Really? That's the raid that you sent me at this point in the game? Hang on. Uh, difficulty? Savage? Hildegard Epic. She will send more big threats. Big, big threats. Careful, boys. Care package has arrived. We'll just wait very quickly for this base to be quickly turfed over by the Omnibot. That should take no more than five minutes with this goddamn thing. Um, it is kind of annoyingly chopping down a tree and then bringing the wood over and then going back and chopping down more trees. Rather than doing it all at once. But with Donuts in this Omnibot, it'll take no time whatsoever. They have entertainment. The only thing I'm concerned about is it's on roof, so it might catch fire. Um, there we go. Thank you, Donuts. All right. We've got a little bit of a cinema set up here. The classic wooden dining chair, mega screen TV combo. We've got some guns as well. Honestly, I feel like this colony is probably going to be a lot happier thanks to the whole Psychic Caminator, you know, arcade cabinets, things to do. What I'll also say is anybody on this map get a lot more recreation time just to keep them as happy as possible. There we go. We'll let them have a, another hour of sleep as well. Have a bit more recreation because there's very, very little to actually be done over here. Um, so we might as well give them, like... A couple of bits of different... Well, that was probably not worth it. Let's do more recreation at the end of the day so they're happier going to bed. Um, there we go. All right. This is basically luxury over here now. Or at least it will be when the dining room is cleared of, you know, rice and swampland. What a great place to end this episode with the words Mad Lockjaws appearing on... Oh my fucking god. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we get eaten by Lockjaws. Next episode will be the final episode, I guarantee it. Even if it kills me, even if it's a five hour long episode, we need to we need to get off this goddamn planet before it drives me mad as well. Big shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible. Big to Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Lalrus, Haydog, Sidini, Necrophilin, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I am the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Valvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired Z, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, and Jackson Whitman. For the support of the insanity lovers on Patreon. Hopefully this won't come across in the video, but I've been playing this for like two hours now. Or at least it feels like that. Um, which I've edited down into half an hour of convenient and easy to consume content.